Hello, everyone. Yes. That's not me. Yeah. That's me. <laughs> we have heard the importance the Greenlandic government puts on being open for business and why it's so important for our society. I will talk about how we can do it, which are the challenges, which are the opportunities, and how can you be a part of it. The mission statement of Green Adventure is to invest in ventures, projects, and companies that may yield substantial growth and profit or in or related to Greenland. We take risk and invest based on purely commercial evaluation. We are not in business to give grants. We are in business to make business. And I surely believe that Greenland offers sound investment and cooperation opportunities. So what is happening in Greenland? Well, we all know that Greenland is beautiful but barren, cold, and very difficult to grow things there. Not so. Let's start with two of the recent investment in which Green Adventure hold ownership. Green and Ruby recently started selling these beautiful gemstones, ruby and sapphires, on the international market. They are ethically sourced, provided employment to skilled locals, and has a tremendous potential for a successful long-term profit. The same goes for Hudson Resources, new anotocyte mine near Gansluzok, although not as spectacular in color. The extremely high-grade material from this mine is one of the material of the future. It is highly act, uh, attractive to a number of existing industries and may also totally replace other material as a CO2 neutral alternative. The first bull shipping took place the, uh, last month. Green and Venture hold minority stake in these two projects. We have provided vital finance during the course of their development and our present equity ensure that Greenland will get a share of the profit. The fact that local investment is committed also given aid uh, towards international investors and partners. More mining and raw materials are well underway in Greenland. Another raw material is the fish and seafood in Greenland waters, always the cornerstone of our export. This industrial is experiencing growth, innovation, and new businesses development like never before. New trawlers with advanced facilities ensure that every part of the fish is utilized. New high-end product finds new markets, and our uh, major players are now investing and developing heavily domestic and internationally. But that's not only a part of the food history. A whole new industry of startups and innovators in the food industry is emerging. From vegetable and spice grown in greenhouse to existing new marine and land-related products you would not have uh, dreamed about just a few years ago. Tourism is also burgeoning with rethinking new ideas and new players. Greenland was always an existing destination, but as a kind of a veteran. I was the CFO of Visit Greenland once, and I assure you that the development the last few years has been almost explosive, in a good sense of the word, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Our cruise traffic was uh, up by more than one-fifth in passenger from last year. Uh, our arrival facility, uh, facilities has been greatly improved, and the number and quality of offers to visitors has multiplied. This year, the first environmental-friendly hybrid uh, energy cruise ship arrived in Greenland. We have a strong focus on tourism that is sustainable to both the environment and our communities. 
we must and will learn from experience from other popular tourist destinations. If I don't want to be on a cruise ship, but still wants luxury or out of this world experience, small but resourceful local operators offer new opportunities. Go clamping, luxurious uh, camping in a certain corner of the fjord, or go hunting for gold with an experienced local expert. And you are allowed to bring the gold home. <laughs> and if you just want to hug an iceberg, call a cab. <laughs> on the photo, you can see the phone number on the top of the wheelhouse. A little disclaimer here. Don't go too near an iceberg. <laughs> Back to the office. Greenland is really experiencing growth and development. It is driven by many factors specified as those mentioned and workforce being more and more qualified, young people with high education and the drive to be entrepreneurs. Experienced people bringing their skills into play in new ways. Major inf uh, infrastructure projects such as Nuuk Sigogi Harbor completed last year and the two new uh, international airport in Irudiset and Nuuk planned for opening in four years along with the Atlantic Airport in South Greenland are major milestones. Our society has started building our future in earnest. And to build anything, you need money. To build th uh, many things, you need a lot of money. <laughs> Green Adventure, which I represent, play a key role in providing equity and other kind of financing, but we are by far not the only option. A number of various sources already exist, and more are emerging. The person on the picture behind me is an example. Mr. Mons Andersen of the Danish Growth Fund, a major, investment, a major investment and capital fund walk along with my colleague, Ms. Karen Thorsen, on the new bridge to Sigugi Harbor. Together, the Growth Fund and Green Land Venture now dispose an extra 220 million Danish crowners to invest in uh, and finance new ventures in Greenland on a 50-50 basis. Today, I'm happy to be able to announce that our latest investment, the first co-investment with both Green Island Venture and the Danish Growth Fund is committed together, is in an Icelandic venture, AX Gold, with its Icelandic founder and CEO and listed on the Canadian TH6 Venture Stock Exchange, is in progress of reopening the Nanonak Gold Mine in South Greenland. We are looking forward to the, this exciting project. Other international financial vehicles exist, and together they form what I call diversified and attractive financial ecosystem, offering good opportunities for financing to well-prepared, solid business proposals and initiative in Greenland. Greenland as a country and Greenland Venture as an investment company actively welcome international investment and partnership such as this. We have a lot to offer, which I hope I have illustrated with these brief examples. But Greenland is not open for business. We are in business, and we would like to do business with you. Together, you and our domestic businesses can do a miracle when you work with us. Work with local tourist operators to develop experiences uh, that are both world-class and authentic. Partner with local food products to make their unique products available to new markets. Innovate together with local experience and researchers to unlock the potential of our raw materials. Invest in our ways of encourage local commitment and sources long-term success. Relevant expertise, resources, and initiative 
are welcomed when carried out, responsible and characterized by mutual respect. I, with my colleagues, colleagues at Green and Venture, is very keen to help you finding your way when it regards doing business in Greenland. This is the view from my office, and you are welcome to stop by when you are in Nook. These folders, which you can get afterwards, is your backstage pass to Greenland. So thank you for your attention, and I hope we will meet you again, and I do believe that you have business in Greenland. Thank you.